Hi everyone. For today's topic, let us have elasticities of demand and supply. At the end of the lesson, the learners should be able to understand the elasticities of demand and supply. Identify the different elasticities, and compute the elasticity of demand. Before we proceed to our discussion, let us try to answer the following questions. 1. It measures the responsiveness of buyers and sellers on the changes in the market conditions. A. Elastic. B. Inelastic. C. Elasticity. D. Inelasticity. The answer is C. Elasticity. 2. A measure of the extent to which the quantity demanded of a good change when the price of the good changes. A. Income elasticity of demand. B. Price elasticity of demand. C. Cross elasticity of demand. D. None of the above. The answer is B. Price elasticity of demand. 3. The change in a factor which leads to a greater change in quantity demanded or supplied. A. Elastic. B. Inelastic. C. Unitary elastic. D. None of the above. The answer is A. Elastic. 4. It measures how the quantity demanded changes as consumers' income changes. A. Cross elasticity of demand. B. Budget elasticity of demand. C. Income elasticity of demand. D. Price elasticity of demand. The answer is C. Income elasticity of demand. 5. It measures how the quantity demanded changes as the price of related good changes. A. Cross elasticity of demand. B. Product elasticity of demand. C. Cost elasticity of demand. D. Price elasticity of demand. The answer is A. Cross elasticity of demand. Let us check if you still remember our lesson last time. Differentiate the two price controls, price ceiling and price floor, by answering the guide questions.
We have discussed how demand and supply respond to changes in their determinants. This module discusses the responsiveness of consumers and producers to changes in the market conditions, which is referred to as elasticity. Elasticity is a measure of a variable's sensitivity to a change in another variable, most commonly this sensitivity is the change in price relative to changes in other factors. The coefficient of elasticity is the number obtained when the percentage change in demand or supply is divided by the percentage change in the determinant. To determine the responsiveness of consumers and producers to a change in an economic factor, we have to compute the coefficient of elasticity and analyze its value. The computed coefficient sets the degree of responsiveness and can be analyzed through the classifications of elasticity. Elastic. A change in a determinant will lead to a proportionately greater change in demand or supply. The absolute value of the coefficient of elasticity is greater than 1. For example, the price of milk tea increases by 10%, and as a result the quantity demanded goes down by 15%, then we can say that the demand for milk tea is elastic. Elastic goods are often described as non-essentials. Inelastic. A change in determinant will lead to a proportionately lesser change in demand or supply. The absolute value of the coefficient of elasticity is less than 1. For example, the price of yellow paper goes up by 5% and the quantity demanded goes down by 4%, then we can say that the demand for yellow paper is inelastic. Inelastic goods are often described as necessities. Unitary elastic. A change in determinants will lead to a proportionately equal to a change in demand or supply. The absolute value of the coefficient of elasticity is equal to 1. Let us say that the price of school uniform goes down by 6% and as a result, the quantity demanded goes up by 6% also, we describe the demand for school uniform as unitary elastic. Three types of elasticity of demand deal with the responses to a change in the price of the goods, in income, and in the price of related goods, substitute or complementary. Price elasticity of demand measures the responsiveness of demand to a change in the price of the good. One of the measures of the price elasticity of demand is arc elasticity. The value of arc elasticity is computed by choosing two points on the demand curve and comparing the percentage changes in the quantity and the price on those two points. We can compute the coefficient using the following formula. Where. Q1 equals old quantity demanded. Q2 equals new quantity demanded. P1 equals old price. P2 equals new price. The computed coefficient is normally has a negative value. It signifies the inverse relationship of the quantity demanded and the price. Hence, we need to take the absolute value of the coefficient to reflect its degree of responsiveness. When the price is greater than 1, it implies that the demand is elastic since the percentage of change in the quantity demand is greater than the percentage change in the price. We can say that the good is non-essential to consumers. Kevin used to buy snacks outside the school during dismissal. He munched 15 burgers for 20 pesos. After a month, the price of burgers rose to 25 pesos due to the increase in the price of LPG. Right now, Kevin can consume 5 burgers. Where? Q1 equals 15, Q2 equals 5, P1 equals 20, P2 equals 25. Substitute the values in the formula. So we have 5 minus 15, over 15 plus 5 over 2, divided by 25 minus 20 over 20 plus 25 over 2. The value of elasticity of demand is negative 4.5. Since the value of the coefficient is usually negative, get the absolute value and determine the degree of elasticity. If the value is greater than 1, that is elastic. If the value is less than 1, that is inelastic. If the value is equal to 1, that is unitary. This case, the burger is elastic. Income elasticity of demand measures how the quantity demanded changes as consumer income changes. Income elasticity of demand is equal to percentage change in quantity demanded over percentage change in income. A positive coefficient implies that the good demanded is normal good, while a negative coefficient implies inferior good. 
Crossed price elasticity of demand measures how the quantity demanded changes as the price of a related good change. Crossed price elasticity of demand measures the responses of the demand for a good to change in the price of a substitute good or a complement. The price elasticity of supply is the measure of the responsiveness in quantity supplied to a change in price for a specific good. Numerous factors directly impact the elasticity of supply for a good including stock time, availability of substitutes, and cost of production. The state of these factors for a particular good will determine if the price elasticity of supply is elastic or inelastic in regard to a change in price. For your activity. Please read the directions. You may answer this after watching the video. To summarize what you have learned in the lesson, answer the following questions. 1. What is elasticity? 2. What are the different classifications for elasticity? 3. What is the formula of elasticity of demand? Reflect on this. It is not the strongest of the species that survive, nor most intelligent, but the one most responsive to change. Charles Darwin. Let us check if you have learned something today. Please answer the post-test.